guys, it's Makari here. I missed you guys over the spring break. Uh, there's nothing really good to do, so I guess we could just read. And the book we're reading today is called Barrels the Bear by Jan Brett. And, I, and it looks like he has this, I don't know, but like this thing. It's like, maybe it's um a double bass, I think. It's a double Get bass. Out, Barrels the bear. Zoom, zoom, buzz. Zoom, zoom, buzz. Barrels has been practicing for weeks, and now, just when the orchestra was going to play in the village square for a gallop ball, a strange buzz was coming from his double bass. Why now? Barrel says to himself. The musicians arrived with their instruments as Brazils watched them climb aboard the bandwagon. All he could think about was his buzzing bass. What if his bass buzzed during the ball? What if the dancers stopped dancing as they laughed at him? Zoom, zoom, buzz, zoom, zoom, buzz, he imagined. Mm, that doesn't sound good. One more page until the end of the chapter. Brazils picked up the reins and then and clucked to the mule. Off they went down the road. He was so worried that he didn't see a hole in the road. Can I get you? Suddenly, the wagon lurched to a stop. The front wheel was stuck in a hole. The mule took one look back and sat and yawned. Oh, next chapter. See you guys in a sec. Okay, I'm back. Oh dear, said Brazil, as he tried to get the mules to stand up and pull the bandwagon out of the hole. What can we do? We'll be late for the ball. I can help you, said a rooster who was passed by on his way to the ball. I'll just tug on a rope and pull you out, he bragged. The rooster pulled and pulled, but the mule stayed put. I think it's a cat next. Yeah, it's a cat. I think, yeah. A tabby who had been watching from the top of the fence, spoke up smugly. That isn't a job for a featherweight, he purred. I'll do it for you. And he took hold of the rope and pulled, but the mule wouldn't either. One more page. Oh my, said Brazil's. At this rate, we'll never get to the ball on time. Everyone, put on your concert tailcoats, so we'll be ready to start as soon as we get there. Everybody's getting dressed. See you next chapter. Just then, a scutzer came trotting over the hill. He took one look at the cat and sniffed. For a fair ball like you can pull a bandwagon. Here, let me have that rope. He painted and pulled, but the wagon stayed in the hole. Brazil had out the music. Everyone take out your instruments. We'll stay turning up. Along came a prancing billy goat. He looked at the stature and snorted. <sighs> Move over, squirt, and let me do it. 
I'll have this wagon out in no time. The belly goat strained forward, but to his surprise, he got nowhere. See you next chapter. Rizelds checked his pocket watch. There wasn't much time left. He was about to give up. When he heard a new voice, allow me, said a plow horse coming across the field. This will be easy. I spent my days pulling, but even the pillow, the pole horse couldn't even move the mule. Brazil's tugged at his ears. <sighs> he said with a sigh, It's almost time for the ball to begin. He looked around and saw a large ox lumbering toward them. Everyone, time, time, tune up. Here comes someone who can pull us out. You're saved, roared the ox. This poor polo horse means well, but only I'm strong enough to pull a bandwagon full of musicians. Oh, gosh. He twisted the rope around his horns and gave a mighty tug. The animals held their breaths, but the mule wouldn't budge on the clock tower started to chime eight o'clock. Oh no, Brazil shouted in dis in dis in depression. He pulled his bow across the strings and to his dismay. He heard zoom, zoom, buzz, buzz. All the musicians turned to look at the buzzing double. Out of the base shot a very angry bee. It had been disturbed once too many often. The first thing it saw as it flew out of the base was the hindquarters of the meal. It doesn't sound too good. Buzz. Hmm. Everybody's like, Arrgh! run and run, 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 because of the the bees shot the the mule. And they're running and running and running with one giant string. The bee made the mule jump to his feet and pull the bandwagon out. Of musicians out of the hole, down the road, and into the village square before the bell had stopped chiming. Oh, yay! They did it! The attendants roared. What an entrance! They cried, and they orch and the orchestra already dressed and turned begin to play. Zoom zoom. Zumba, zoom. It was hard to say who had more fun at the ball, the musicians or the dancers. Brazils had never played better. Okay, last page. Encore, Brazil. Encore, Brazil came forward. Thank you all. And this evening, I would like to. You appreciate our encore to the buzzing bee. And his little thing, it's called Flight of the Bumblebee. So I think we'll play something for the buzzing bee. And that's the end of our story. Guys, I'll see you later on my channel. Bye!